It's a Mercedes-Benz Arox 6x4. It's a Bross House trailer, 4 axle. It's a limited edition, in the colours of Basel of Germany. This is another heavy haulage model from WSI Models. It's time for a viewer question and it's from Miss D Point of Rockall. Miss Point asks, why do people say die cast metal? Because what has cast metal ever done that it deserves to die? Well, Miss Point, as always, a fool can ask questions that no wise man can answer. And as I don't have an answer for you, that makes me wise. Okay, so if you want the truck to go on the road, you've got to join up the tractor and the trailer and clunk click does the trick. The only other thing we'll do is add the sides to the gooseneck and they press into place, although you might need to force them in a bit to get them to sit straight. As usual for WSI, the underside of the Arox is detailed with different types of tyres on the steering and driven axles. The cab is nice with its two-tone interior, and of course the distinctive Arox grille. There's also a realistic number plate. The Varsal blue and white colour scheme is fairly simple, but the graphics are sharp. Behind the cab there are coiled lines, and the wheel arches are plastic. The Bross House is one of the more detailed trailer models, and there are nice details such as hoses underneath. There are yellow stripes down the edges and tiny Bross House graphics. And at the rear the lights and number plates all look convincing. We move out onto the Cranes Etc Autobahn. And the Arox drives along reasonably smoothly in a straight line. If we move to the front axle there is steering. And it's a little bit better than you often find on WSI truck models. So it looks good in a pose, and it will actually trace out a reasonable curve. As always, we like to check whether a model has an engine, and this one has one under the tilting cab. But on this model, the cab can't be posed in a tilted position because it wants to shut. WSI's Bross House trailer has always been very good in terms of features, and the axles have working suspension, and the rear two have steering, and they help the trailer follow a nice curve. Oh, and of course, if you want your trailer just to stand around, you can lower the landing legs. But wait, there's more. Included are a pair of ramps if you want to run up onto the gooseneck. And if you want a machine to run up onto the deck, then there are a couple of long ramps which can be used at the back. But wait, there's even more. You can install posts on the deck. And there are enough to go down both sides. Or if you want to have a beam at the same level as the gooseneck, then you can install that on a couple of posts. But wait some more, there's even more, even more. If you want your trailer to be a wide boy, you can pull out the beams from the side, and then you can carefully place replica timbers to widen the deck. And you can do that down both sides. But wait, there's more. Yes, this is an extendable trailer. So if you hold the trailer in the right places and pull it apart, you get a much longer trailer. So that's what the trailer can do, but what about carrying some loads? And here we have two very large boom sections from a crawler crane. And they look good, and as they are wider than the trailer, we need to pull out the marker boards. And there are two of those located under the gooseneck. And if we then walk to the back of the trailer, we can install marker boards at the rear. So that's all good, but the booms on Varsal's real cranes are blue. So to see how it looks, let's give them a quick respray. Yes, that looks good. For a different load, let's try another crawler crane piece, and this is a heavy track frame. Or, as a different kind of a load, we can fit some container locks onto the deck. And they are small plastic pieces which insert into holes. And then the giant hand crane can bring in a container, and place it into the proper position on the deck. <laughs> 
This model from WSI continues their tradition of high quality truck models. And it's good to see a truck in a famous name like that of Varsal. So the model scores highly for detail and features and looks particularly good if loaded with crane parts. Overall, it's good enough to be rated excellent.